How's it going boys and girls? Data here and it is January 20th, 2021 and that means that we have a new roster update from EA. It's the first one since the NHL has started back on the 2021 regular season. Haven't gotten an update since uh, just about over a month so very excited to check this one out. I'm gonna run through all of the NHL teams as well as some junior prospects as well. These are not my custom rosters so there's probably a lot of things that I'll disagree with but if you're here to check out your team I hope that you will be pleased. There's a lot of things that I'm gonna have to see like I hope Tim Stutzel's not still a 70 overall. I hope Igor Shesterkin's not an 86. I hope that Alex Galchenyuk doesn't have elite potential. Stuff like that. I hope Jack Quinn doesn't have low top, top 9 potential anymore. So we are going to run through the, the edit player menu here. And we are going to see every NHL team first and foremost. So the Anaheim Ducks here, nothing too crazy. Highest of 85s. I believe nothing has really changed here. Shattenkirk potentially up from an 83 to an 84. I don't have a spreadsheet with all of the overalls memorized, nor the potentials, but it's nice to see that there are some nice potentials, especially for Sam Steele at an 81 with a medium top six. Uh, Isaac Lundstrom and down the line here. Maxime Comtois has had a great start to the regular season. Probably would have given him a little bit more than a 77, uh, especially that he's a full-time NHLer as of now. So, eh, questionable. Goaltending, John Gibson at a 90, definitely. Ryan Miller at an 81 for 40 years old. Gotta give him the respect. So, no big issues with the Anaheim Ducks. And now we can move on to Arizona. Arizona Coyotes, Ekman Larson, 87, makes sense as their best player. Phil Kessel at an 85, still has the shooting categories, and he's had a decent start to the season as well. No complaints there. Golgoski, 83. Uh, Chikrin at an 83, maybe a bit higher than that, but I'm not going to split hairs too, too much. Uh, Derek Broussard at an 82. Uh, Barrett Hayton, 79. Lawson, the cruise ship, Kraus at 79. Uh, Fred Gautier at a 78, maybe a bit higher because of the defensive categories. But nothing too wrong in Arizona either. Again, this is the NHL roster. This is not taking into account the prospects in the system, AHL, stuff like that, which we'll take a look at a little bit later on. Darcy Kemper, I think I wouldn't put Kemper and Ranta both at an 85. I would either keep Kemper in 85 and lower Ranta or put Kemper at an 86, 87 and then put Ranta at an 85, 84. This is especially going to grind my gears later if Darcy Kemper is at fringe starter 85 overall and Shesterkin is at elite potential 86 after playing like 15 NHL games. Darcy Kemper has been lights out both in uh, last season and to start this season as well. He has been fantastic. So that would be quite disrespectful. But for now, you know what? We're keeping calm. We're keeping calm. So far, so good. Boston Bruins, Patrice Bergeron at a 91, Marsh at a 91. Uh, I wish that you could change player types so that Bergeron wouldn't have to be a two-way forward. Same with Marshawn. You could actually get chemistry in franchise mode, but that's another story. McAvoy looks like he got a little bit of a boost, pretty much being the only good defenseman left on the Bruins here. Uh, DeBrusque at an 83, Kasha 82. Uh, Nick Ritchie, 80. Grizzlick, I'd probably give Grizzlick a little bit more, especially with the increased role that he's getting right now on the Bruins. Maybe 81, 82. Uh, Corrali, maybe more than a 79. But nothing too wild on the Bruins. Goaltending, Tuka Rask at a 90. Halak at an 83 is fine. One of the better backups in the NHL. Again, it's going to be more of a comparative issue. I don't really have issue with an 83, but I have an issue with an 83 if other good backups are 79 get what i mean so boston bruins nothing too wild here i'm liking the potentials i'm liking the overalls i like that david krejci gets some respect as well a guy who often gets forgotten maybe debrusque just a little bit higher 84 ish area moving on to the buffalo sabers here eichel at 91 consistently a monster in franchise mode as well at 91 overall with the medium elite potential Taylor Hall, 88. Rasmus Dahlin, 86. I like that overall for Rasmus Dahlin. 86 for him with great offensive awareness, despite being a two-way defender, a very offensive two-way defender with solid defensive attributes as well. Good puck skills. I like that respect for Rasmus Dahlin. Eric Stahl, 85. Ristolainen, 85. That's probably a bit overrated. Um, I don't know. I, there's a lot of Buffalo fans here on the channel and a lot of hate for Rasmus Ristolainen. Maybe move down the defensive awareness a little bit. Maybe move down the uh, pfft, maybe maybe that's it. Besides that, you know, he's six foot four. The physical attributes you're not going to touch those. So the overall is probably just boosted a little bit. I think that's pretty fair. 
Reinhardt 85 is fine. I'd probably go a bit higher, killing it to start the season. Olofsson in 84 and Skinner in 84, that doesn't make sense. Skinner should probably be lower. Uh, the, it sells the elite potential as well. Four-star shooting, four-star puck skills. He has not been showing that last season, nor to start this season. Uh, I'd probably put Olafson, keep him 84 or put him 85, and put Skinner probably in that 83 area. Terrible, terrible stuff on, that, on the contract, unfortunately. Uh, Yoki Haru at an 81. Okpozo 80, probably lower his. Uh, Cousins, here's an interesting prospect who makes the NHL roster here. High top six potential for Dylan Cousins, 78 overall. Great performance in the uh, World Junior Championship. Uh, 19 years of age, 78 is not bad at all, so no complaints from there. Uh, just maybe his potential, maybe. High top six is quite fair as well. Uh, and low elite doesn't seem to develop very much in NHL, and medium elite might be a bit much, so I think I'm content with that high top six. Tage Thompson also gets good overall and potential playing in the top six uh, currently on the Sabres. Uh, everyone's favorite, Curtis Lazar. Uh, in goaltending here, we have Linus Allmark, still in 83. This one I don't really understand, really. He's been a great starter. You know, you know, keep him on the fringe starter potential, fine. But the man, not only does he simulate great in NHL, he's also really good in the real world. I'd probably give him a little bit more respect, even just to an 84. Just throw the guy a bone. But again, not the end of the world. If we're just breaking it down to one overall things, we don't need to cry over that. It's just Olafson. I don't understand how Olafson could be an 84 and then Kubalik could be an 81. So we'll see what Kubalik's looking when we get to Chicago. But that's how the Buffalo Sabres are looking. Calgary Flames now. Uh, Giordano at an 87. Kachuk 87. Goudreau 87. So a lot of uh, high, mid to high 80s, but no big overalls. I'd probably give Goudreau... And, uh, yeah, I'd probably make Goudreau the highest overall. Maybe 88, 89 for Goudreau, and the rest could probably stay as is. Monaghan, probably more like an 87, 88. Lindholm, more like an 86. I love the Flames' top six when it comes to the forwards, at least these four forwards in the top six. So these four guys right here, I'd give them a little bit more, even though they already look great. It's, they definitely do have room to grow in franchise mode with that potential as well. Noah Hannafin, 84. Backlund, 83. Chris Tanev at an 83. Rasmus Anderson, very underrated. I'm happy with an 82 for him. Sam Bennett, Dylan Dubé, 80. Shillington, 79. Uh, Lucic at a 78, I guess that's fair enough. Goaltending for the Flames, they have Markstrom at an 88 overall, definitely fair. I'd probably give him even uh, elite potential instead of just starter potential. David Riddick at an 84 is also fair. He definitely has the potential to be a starter when called upon. Not even the potential, the ability to be a starter when called upon. So I'd probably give David Riddick starter potential and Markstrom elite potential, but those overalls are fair in my books right there. So that's the Calgary Flames. Carol Carolina Hurricanes, Sebastian Ajo at an 88 definitely makes sense. Uh, I'm not sure if I agree with him being a two-way forward. Uh, wasn't he a sniper at one point? But I guess that's what his player type is now. That kills the chemistry in franchise mode. Tervine in 86. Shveshnikov already at an 86. It's hard to complain when you're 20 years old, elite potential 86, so I won't. In the back of my head, I need to realize that it's not NHL 12 anymore with these overalls, and they mean something different. So... 86, perfectly fine. Slavin, love Slavin, Slavin, however you want to say it. One of my favorite defensemen in the entire NHL. I'm just thrilled out of my mind that he's an 86 overall. That is great respect for him. There's the four and a half star defense that he deserves. Great discipline, good poise. Uh, I guess he just doesn't have the greatest uh, fighting skill or something like that, or a deking and just slap shot accuracy that brings the overall down. But if you were to just, at this point, as a defenseman, if you were to boost his defensive awareness to 91 or 92, I'm sure he would go to an 87 overall even, if you were interested in, uh, in fixing the rosters. Dougie Hamilton in 85, I'd probably boost Dougie Hamilton. I know he was injured a lot of last season, which hurts, but 40 points in 47 games plus 30. The man's just a monster out One there. One of the better offensive defensemen in NHL for the chemistry as well. Uh, 85 shot blocking. It's a bit weird. Maybe I'd just boost the defensive, uh, defensive stats a little bit, but the puck skills and the offensive awareness and stuff like that make up for it, especially in simulation with 90 offensive awareness. A great simulation player is Dougie Hamilton. Brady Shea, 84. Trocek, 84. Jordan Stahl, 83. Gardner, Zingle. Brett Pesci, also very underrated, so 83. I'm okay with that. Uh, Martin Nachas at an 83. That's nice. That is nice respect for him. 
Uh, again, I don't remember if these are very different from the from the ones that we got when the game first dropped, but this is the first time I'm really looking at them in depth. So just to say, at the moment, Martin HS 9, uh, at an 83, maybe even more than he deserves, but I'm very happy with that. Uh, I'd maybe put 81, 82 on him, but I'm okay with putting in 83 for Natchez, Flurry 80, Martin Nook, right. Morgan Geeky, maybe you know what, Morgan Geeky was great last season, five points in, uh, sorry, four points in two games, yeah, give him a, come on, get, throw him a bone, give him high top nine and 78 or something like that, goaltending, uh, Mrachik still an 83, yeah, this is weird as well, Mrachik's not bad at all, gets a bad rap for being on a bad Detroit team, but ever since he's been on Carolina, his numbers have been pretty solid, especially in 18-19, so, I, you know, I'd probably give him an 84. Reimer, he's okay at an 83. Maybe more like an 82 since he's getting a bit more up there in age. But I don't think I'd go 83-83 on that tandem. But aside from that, lots of good respect here on the Hurricanes. Especially to Slavin and to Pesci and to Necha. So, you know what? We'll take it. Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, oh my goodness, there's Kubelik at an 81. I'm gonna snap. Patrick Kane, 91, makes sense. Taze, 87, yeah, sure. Dabrinka at an 85, that's nice. Uh, you know, he's uh, a sniper, and he's a right wing, left wing. That is very uh, flexible. He used to be listed as a center. I'm not sure if it was NHL 19 or 20, but they finally got that out uh, sometime in the past with the 65 face-offs. But uh, great offensive awareness, which makes him another great simulation player. And 85 overall is very fair at the age of 22. Dylan Strom, 84. Uh, yeah, a lot of room to growth. I think 84 is very fair. Kirby Dock at an 82 at 19 years of age. Similar to a, a similar position as Dylan Cousins. You know what? Maybe. Dock played all last season in the NHL. So I think he deserves the 82. I Maybe it's more Cousins that I have the issue with. Where you're more like a 79-ish. But I think uh, the NHL... Um, service that he gave last season, 64 games, gives him the right to be an 82. Dominic Kubelik at an 81, absolutely no sense, scoring 30 goals last season, 46 points. Why is Victor Olofsson 3 overall higher? I don't have an explanation for you. He has great shooting, he has fine uh, offensive awareness, he has uh, you know the 87 balance, should be boosting up the overall. But for some reason, he has 82 defensive awareness and 80 discipline and 80 poise. Like, who are you to decide his poise? I don't know what to say. Dahan, Soderberg, Shaw. Uh, Zadarov an 80. I'd probably give Zadarov 81. Uh, besides that, Boquist. This is nice for Adam Boquist at an 80 overall. He's really quarterbacking the defense this season. I'd probably, if, I, if he were an 81 or an 82, I wouldn't have even bat an eye. So I wouldn't be crazy to see from him. Nylander, I guess due to the injury and everything like that, at a 79. But still with the elite potential, so he will always grow in your franchise mode. Here is Pius Suter, or Pius Sutter. I've heard it different ways, but I think it's Pius Suter. Uh, coming from, was it the, I'm not sure which league in Europe. I forget which league exactly in Europe. But either way, he's in the game now. 76 overall, medium top 9 potential at 24 years of age. Uh, I'd probably give him a higher overall than that. I'm not sure about his potential. I'd have to read search him more but higher than 76 overall for sure i think in my opinion uh curse have another prospect 20 years of age low top six it's hard to it's really hard to get um potentials right for some prospects so i won't go in too deep into suitor but there's some guys like as we were saying jack quinn who you can definitely talk about a lot more uh sorry over on goaltending uh, malcolm suban probably an 80 81 yeah 81 and 80 for suban and delia i think that's pretty fair especially an 80 for delia that's pretty fair for him. Maybe, you know, make them both 81. But I guess, yeah, eh, it wouldn't be crazy to make them both 81. Uh, Colorado Avalanche now. McKinnon, Ranton in 92 and 90. Love to see that. Uh, Landis Gog, 87. Kadri, 85. Makar, 85. That's nice. Eric Johnson, 83. That's okay. Saw 83. I don't really have any complaints here for any of these guys. Burakovsky, underrated player for sure. Uh, his, he has three and a half star shooting. I'd probably make the shooting a bit higher for Burakovsky. Make him more like an 83 overall. Uh, Ryan Graves, a very underrated defensive defenseman. Uh, despite three and a half defense, star defense. Uh, you know, if you're in the NHL, I don't know if you really have hands of stone like that with 75 hand eye. And you know, if he's if you're six foot five as well with 89 strength, I doubt your fighting skill is 77. So his overall could have been boosted just a little bit. To give the man a little bit of respect. Uh, Gerard 82, Donskoy, Jost, Comfort. A lot of these guys, a lot of good young players like Jost and Comfort who just haven't really developed 
that much in NHL. Joe said an 81 for 22 years of age is fine, but I believe he's on the third or fourth line on Colorado at the moment, which is a bit tough. Greg Patteron just got traded to the Avalanche, so nice to see that that is updated. Connor Timmins has this top 4D potential. Kaut has the top 6 forward potential. Top 4D for Timmins. I'm not sure if it's a top 6. And that is looking good. Goaltending. I'm curious about this one. All right, so Grubauer, 84. Fransu's, 82. That's really weird, I think. I think that's pretty weird. Philip Grubauer, I know he was injured last season and all, and he's on a good team, which probably boosts the numbers. But in his entire career, he had, he's 79, 52, and 19. A good record, not an insane record, but... You know, 2.44 goals against average, 920 save percentage, that's good. Those are good numbers, especially on this good Colorado Avalanche team now This as more of the starter this season. He's really taking over as more of the starter since Fransuz is more of a backup role. Despite Fransuz playing a lot last season, I think it's like a 60-40 split this year. I think Fransuz at an 82 is fine. Like, look at this. Igor Shosturkin on the Rangers plays 12 games, plays great for those 12 games, and gets an 86. Fransuz plays 34 games, plays amazing, and now he's an 82. See, that doesn't, it doesn't track. It doesn't make sense. So Fransuz at an 82 is fine in my mind. Grubauer, I guess it's fine at an 84 as well, but I'd really want to see him go to an 85, 86. I'm going to give EA the benefit of the doubt and say it was due to the injury, but if he were to have a good season this year, it would be just ludicrous for him to stay at an 84. So those are my thoughts on the Avalanche goaltending. Columbus Blue Jackets, Wierenski and uh, Seth Jones both at 87 with the medium lead potential. That makes sense. Uh, maybe even a bit higher for... Ah, it's, you know, it, it's probably the... Uh, the physical, yeah, fighting skill, and yeah, and I guess probably the shooting a little bit that keeps them down. Yeah, you gotta look at the, de the defensive stats. Wierenski's an 87, but he has five-star defense, so it's not really anything to cry about. Pierre-Luc Dubois at an 86 is fine for the age of 22. Actually, it's more than fine. It's amazing. <laughs> Max Domi at an 85. He's been struggling, but I think that overall it makes sense. Gustav Nyquist at an 84. Eh, 42 points in 70 games last season. That's good. Maybe, you know, why Gustav Nyquist 84, but Jake DeBrusque 83? That's my question, you know? So I'd probably bring him down to 83. Atkinson has not been playing well at all right now, but 84, 83 range, definitely still fair. It's more Oliver Bjorkstrand who I'd probably boost to that 84. Probably switch Bjorkstrand and Nyquist in the 84, 83 there. Uh, Miko Koivu in 83, I guess the 87 faceoffs and all that boosts it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, really good stats for Miko Koivu. Really balanced and good stats all around. Underrated. Very good. Uh, David, uh, David Savard, 82. Felino 82. Gergrenko, 80. Boone Jenner, I'd boost for sure. Boone Jenner is way better than an 80 overall. He, uh, I guess it's... Again, why is he a... Um, oh, he's center left wing? Okay, I thought he was just left wing. 87 face-offs for center left wing. Uh, I don't agree with, um, with like, the 81 slap shot and wrist shot accuracy. Last year wasn't great for him, but aside from that, he was, you know, 30 goals in 15-16, and every year since then, he's been around the 15 to 20 goal mark. You know, I'm not saying, like, give him 85, but it's a bit weird to see a guy like Boone Jenner, who has such a big role on the Blue Jackets, being 80 overall with 81 shooting accuracy. I think I'd give him a little bit more than that. Gavrikov is fine. Alex Texier, good, good, good player. Uh, Dubinsky, 79. Uh, Delzato, 78. Love Delzato. Nathan Gerby at a 76. Uh, Liam Foody here, a good prospect. 20 years old, medium top six potential, 76 years of age. All right, another team that I'm really interested in seeing the goaltending situation here, the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. So it is Elvis Merz Lincolns at an 84, and Jonas Corpusalo also at an 84. So they're both 84, both medium starter, both 26 years of age. So uh, between these two stats here, a lot of them are pretty similar. Same angles, one different on breakaways, five hole and glove high. Uh, 82 and 83 passing, uh, 87 and 88 aggressiveness, uh, both 88 speed, very, very similar. And I think that tracks in real life as well. Um, I don't know if I'd give any one of these guys the edge. You can tell me your thoughts in the comments, but I think that's pretty fair to have them both at 84. Um, and that's the Columbus Blue Jackets, so I think that's pretty much it for them.
Dallas Stars yet to play a game so far this season as of the recording and upload of this uh, review. So I'm not sure how much they touch the Dallas Stars, but we'll look into them. Tyler Sagan, 89, Simulation Monster. Klingberg, 87. Heiskanen, 86. I think that is definitely fair for him. He will be entering his third NHL season. Yeah, very good stats from him. Already four and a half star defense. Uh, man, that's really good for Miro Heiskanen. Radulov, 86. Ben, 85. Pavelski, 85. Pavelski, he, he scored 27 goals? No, he didn't. Why did it say 27? Oh, 94 games played. Is that in his entire crew? No. I don't know why it says that. 94 games played. Either way, 31 points in 67 games last season was not great at all. So I understand not wanting to drop him heavily because before that, 64, 66, 68, no problem. But probably something more like an 84 would make a bit more sense. Rupe Hintz, another super underrated player. Nice to see him around that 83 range with uh, room for growth. Denis Gurionov, I'd have him higher than an 82. Four-star shooting, was amazing in the playoffs. Nothing crazy in the season, but 17 and 27 in the playoffs. You know, again, if DeBrusque can be an 83, Gurionov can be an 83. Why is Nyquist an 84, etc.? Uh, Alexiak, Sakara, Johns, Como, Cogliano. How is his, does he still have the skating? Yeah, still has the four-star skating. One of the fastest guys in the NHL. Andrew Cogliano. Uh, Kiviranta. This is weird. This is weird. I understand the overall. That's okay. The overall is not bad. But low bottom six? Low bottom six. Like, maybe he'll make the fourth line one day. At his best potential, he might be a third liner at the absolute best. Really? Are you ready to say that? Low bottom six? At least high bottom six. Again, one goal in 11 games. Nothing crazy. But in the playoffs, six points, five goals. Again, I'm not saying make him 79 with, with high top nine or medium top six potential. But at least high bottom six or low top nine. Eh, you know, give him, at least be reflective a little bit of the real life, of the real world. Goaltending situation in Dallas, you got Ben Bishop at an 89, Kudobin at an 84, I think that makes total sense, and that is it for Dallas. Over to the Detroit Red Wings now, Larkin 88, Mantha 85, again makes sense because of his injury last season, but he was close to point per game, 38 and 43, I would like to see an upgrade for him before next season for sure. Uh, Bertuzzi, 84. Hronik, 82. Zadina, 81. Uh, yeah, Zadina. Weird stats for a two-way forward, though, with 77 shot blocking and 83 awareness. Uh, 78 balance as well. Like, have, has EA seen him fall on the ice and they give him 78 balance? Not sure why that happens. Robbie Fabio was great last season. I probably would have given him 82 or something like that. Uh, Bobby Ryan, absolute legend right now. Give him a 99 overall. And if it's anything less, you storm EA. Oh, baby. Bobby Bello. You can't say no to Bobby Bello. Michael Rasmussen, 21, 79. Adam Ernie. It's time to let go of Adam Ernie. EA has been just riding Adam Ernie ever since he got drafted. He had elite potential, medium top six potential. It's time to let it go. The man scored five points last season. He doesn't have medium top six potential. There, at his absolute best, he's not a full-time top six player for the rest of his career. He's not going to fulfill that potential. It's time to let it go. I love you, Adam Ernie. You're not a top six, medium top six. Sam Gagne, Mark Stahl <laughs> with the 78 overall. I think that's a bit too low for Mark Stahl. I'd uh, uh, raise his a little bit. Henrik Zetterberg, just look at that face, man, Zetterberg. Uh, goaltending in Detroit, Thomas Grice, 84, Bernier, 82. Jonathan Bernier, again, he's a good goalie on a bad team. Probably give him 83. Grice at 84, maybe even 85 makes sense. Thomas Grice is a fantastic goaltender, very underrated, as he's been buried in the two-goalie system in, with the Islanders for a very long time. But I love Thomas Grice. 84 is fine. I'd probably even go to 85, but I'm content with that. Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid at a 95, Dreisaitl at a 92. I believe last time it was Dreisaitl high franchise and McDavid medium franchise. So, boop, don't know why that's happening. Now they're both medium. That makes sense to me, though. Dreisaitl at a 92, maybe even 93, but... Again, it's not a huge deal. Huge at an 86, no problem. Darnell Nurse at an 85, yeah, huge role this season on the team, and an 85 makes a lot of sense for him. Clefbaum, 84. Barry, 84. How's his offensive awareness? 87. As a two-way D, eh? I'd probably give Barry offensive defenseman. I haven't been really looking at player types, but there's a lot of player types I would change in uh, franchise mode. Uh, physical, three-star physical only. Uh, bah. 
not the not the end of the world. The offensive stats boost him a little bit, and 84 is okay. Adam Larson, 83. I'd probably give him 84. You know, the 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 Oilers, at their full capacity on paper, have good defense with Nurse, Clefbaum, Barry, and Larson. Too bad, remove Clefbaum. Barry is like sh so so trying to figure things out, and Larson. It's more Larson and Nurse who I really like the most of the of that four. But Barry, if he could really figure out this season, that would be fantastic. On that one-year contract, I'm really rooting for Tyson Barry. Dominic Kahuna, 82 on a great contract. Uh, that is fine for him. Yamamoto, I'd probably put Yamamoto higher than 82. I'm a big fan of Killer Yamamoto. Put up 26 points in 27 games last season. He started off the season very well. 83 would make sense. And I wouldn't even be surprised if it was an 84. But I think 82 is a bit low for Killer Yamamoto. Again, going back to my previous comparisons, you're going to tell me he's two overall lower than Atkinson and Nyquist and one overall less than DeBrusque? I don't think so. Ethan Bear, 82, makes sense. James the Real Deal Neal, 81. Slater Cuckoo. Puglia Yarvi, okay, this one does not make sense. Puglia Yarvi's playing full-time third line now. Put up good numbers in Europe. Low elite, okay. But 78 overall? No. No, 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 no. Not 78 overall for Jesse Puglia Yarvi. That really should not be happening. And the problem with such a low overall and the low elite potential is that it breaks franchise mode. You could get Puglia Yarvi for like a second, for like a fourth or a third round pick. You think if I went to Edmonton right now and I offered them like a fourth and a fifth or even just a third, they'd say, wow, no brainer, we'll take this deal. No, he's a lot better than this. So I wouldn't, I would not put Puglia Yarvi's slap shot and wrist shot accuracy one and two attributes respectively higher than Boone Jenner's. That just does not make sense at all. Ah, oh, baby. All right, that's it for Edmonton forwards. Goaltenders, Miko Koskinen in 83 makes total sense, maybe even lower, to be honest. He just had a good night against the Maple Leafs, but yikes, it's going to be a tough season for the Oilers with Koskinen, I think. Mike Smith injured, so I guess it doesn't really matter what his overall is, as he's on the long-term IR. Probably closer to an 81, but 82 is fine. On to the Florida Panthers here. Huberdeau at a 90. Let's try and get through these. Huberdeau, 91. Barkov, 90. I'd probably put Barkov higher than a 90. Yandel at an 86 with all the problems going on. Uh, would it make sense if he went down to an 85? Probably. Uh, this is weird. It says his age is 34, by the way, but up on the top it says age 33. Uh, that's happening to everyone, eh? Well, not everyone. 20, I guess it has to do with the birthdays, probably. I guess it has to do with that. So he's actually 34, but like as the, at the time of the game dropping, he was 33. Yeah, uh, Ekblad at 86 is okay. Hornquist, I'd put him higher than an 83. I hope he has good physical. Yeah, four-star physical, power forward, good shooting. The attributes are all fine. Just, uh, what's keeping him down? I guess the discipline and the poise? Yeah, I suppose. Suppose. I'd probably, I'd be happier with him at an 84. Duclair, Connolly, Nudivara, Vetrano, Nachari. Blah, you know, maybe 81 for Vetrano. Uh, Radko Gudis. Uh, Owen Tippett, he's going to have some potential. He doesn't really grow in NHL, so I hope that he will have a good season. Uh, Itu Lusterainen, Lusterainen, Lusterainen. He's playing, like, what, second-line center right now? So 75 overall does not make sense to have him there. If he was actually a 75 and taking with 65 face-offs as a centerman, he would not be a top-six centerman in the NHL right now. Ah, goaltending. Yeah, Bobrovsky, 87. Montembeau, 80. And Dredger, Dredger, a 79. I'd probably give him 80 as well. Bobrovsky, 87. That makes sense after his bad season last year. So 87 makes sense for him. Definitely a bounce back candidate. But yeah, not too many issues with Florida. Los Angeles Kings really drops off after the top two here. Dowdy and Kopitar, both with franchise potential. Eh, Dowdy definitely overrated in terms of overall. Would not give him five-star defense and, you know, five-star puck skills, four-and-a-half shooting. I don't think so. Love Drew Dowdy, great defenseman. Not a 91 overall when a guy like Dougie Hamilton is an 85. Kopitar, 90. Athanasiu, 82. Brown, yeah, these all make sense. Low 80s. Uh, Jeff Carter's been good this season. If he was an 82 or an 83, I wouldn't have said anything. 81's all around for everybody. Lias Anderson, 78. He got traded there from the Rangers. Martin Furk, what's his slap shot power? Uh, 91 slap shot power. Okay. Uh, you know, if it was higher than that, I think it would make sense. But at least they take account in, uh, take into account his hardest shot. Uh, isn't Gabe Velarde in the NHL right now? 76. Nah. Hopefully they can get a mid-season update, though, for the LA Kings once some of those prospects do a little better. Goalies, Jonathan Quick, 83. Cal Peterson, 82. I think that makes sense. 
Uh, that's the LA Kings. Minnesota Wild now. Very excited to see Kaprizov. Ooh, baby. Ryan Suter, 87. Dumba, 85. This is crazy. They're still so underrated. Spurgeon and Brodeen, two of literally the top 20 defensemen in the NHL. Two top defensemen. Two top defensemen. At least top 30, if you can't say top 20. 83 and 84 overall. So, so underrated. Like, like absolutely shamefully underrated. Is it, It's just because of the physical, I suppose. But you know what? Compensate. Give him an 89 defensive awareness and 88 shot blocking. How, why is his hand-eye 82, but his deking 90? And Jonas Brodin here. Uh, pfft, again, why is his hand-eye 79? Why is his shot accuracy, slap shot accuracy 77? Just because he doesn't store, score slap shots very often? Well, is he taking many slap shots? Well, maybe you should look into that. But Brodeen, there's a reason he's getting paid six million. There's a reason Spurgeon's getting paid seven point five, and you definitely should tweak those defensemen, defensive overalls, if you're going to be playing with the Wild. Kevin Fiala should not be in eighty-three. Uh, if you're new to the channel here, we're doing a Minnesota Wild franchise mode series, so we're very familiar with the Wild. Fiala fifty-four and sixty-four last season, and he's the same overall as uh, as all you guys were saying earlier. Jake DeBrusque, one overall less than Gustav Nyquist and Cam Atkinson. Why is he in eighty-three? That's not fair. Kaprizov at 83 now. I'm very excited to see how they have Kaprizov. We had him as a created player, but now he's in the game. 23 years of age, 83 overall, medium elite. I think that totally makes sense. He has four-star shooting, four-and-a-half puck skills. His defense isn't great, makes sense, but really strong skater. Physical low also makes sense. Fifth round pick in 2015, was playing over in the KHL, and he's doing great to start the season here in Minnesota. He is a fantastic prospect with lots of growth at an 83 with that medium lead potential. Zuccarello, Marcus Johansson, Erickson Eck, nah. Greenway, nah. Uh, Benino, yeah, probably like, if, these, if all these 81s were 82s right here, I wouldn't say anything. Ian Cole in 81 is, nah, I don't know about that, maybe 80 for him. Brad Hunt, we love him in the Minnesota Wild franchise mode. Same with Susie. Victor Rask, tough contract. Uh, that's pretty much it there. Goaltending in Minnesota, Cam, Tal Cam Talbot, 83 with elite potential. Don't know if I trust that. Uh, higher potential than Markstrom, but way lower overall, obviously. And Staylock, 82. That one makes more sense in my mind. But yeah, you know, not the worst overalls for the goalies. It's just really the defensive, uh, the underrated defenseman here on Minnesota that grinds my gears a little bit. Now to the Montreal Canadiens, a team I'll be pretty critical of for sure. Yeah, medium lead potential for Jonathan, Jonathan Drouet, not happening. Uh, Shea Weber, 88, that makes sense. Petrie, 85. Petrie, underrated. I'd probably give Petrie 86. If a guy like, uh, like Ekblad can be 86... Uh, then I'd probably give Petrie 86 as well. Just be not maybe not as strong as physical and and uh, defensive as um, as P as uh, Ekblad, excuse me, but very offensive, especially for a defensive defenseman. Would not put him at defensive defenseman, nor would I give him 78 deking. But we can go through every player and take forever on this. Jonathan Drouet definitely don't have him with medium elite potential. Unfortunately, as much as I wish he did, I don't give him medium elite potential. Great puck skills, really good shooting. Uh, uh, yeah, a bit overrated. Thomas Tart in 85, that makes sense. Gallagher, 85, makes sense. Philip Dano, I was about to say it doesn't make sense that he's a 99 overall and then keep scrolling and laugh. But then I realized he's medium top nine potential. He finished fifth in Selkie voting. This man is a gem. This man, you should bow down and kiss his feet that he even steps on the ice of the National Hockey League. This man should be worshipped. But for real though, for real though, for real, for real, for real. That doesn't make sense. These are great stats. 84 is fine. Maybe even 85. Great stats. Why does he have medium top nine potential? What? He's been a first line center for the last two years. Huh? Whatever. To Foley, 83. That's good. Suzuki, I like this. I'd probably give him high top six potential. 83 overall, 21 years of age. Kokanyemi, Kokanyemi, 82 with medium lead potential. That makes sense. For Leak, 81. Edmondson, 81. Anderson, no, no, no. Josh Anderson is not 80 overall. Again, we can't go off of last season with a four points in 26 games. You need to take things into account. The people who are doing the numbers over at EA, you got to take the injury into account. 
you got to see that he started off the season looking really good as well. I'm not saying 85 overall, but come on. I would expect Josh Anderson to be at an 83. Come on. He's going to have no trade value in NHL. With a $5.5 million contract in franchise mode, I mean, for seven years at an 80 overall, he's going to have no trade value. That's that's shameful. Sherratt, 80. Armia, we love Armia. He should also be at a 99. Uh, Mete, that makes sense. Uh, Byron, yeah, these all make sense. Paling, low top six, that's okay. Ro oh, here's Roman, Alexander oh, yeah. Romanov. 77 overall, medium top four. I'm not, I'd probably say high top four. 77 is fine. Uh, he's been looking really good to start the season, especially. I'd give him, what's his passing, 82. He's a two-way defense. I'd probably give him closer to 78, 79. But again, lots of room for growth. He's a good skater. And nothing, no really stats that really stand out. Uh, good power on the shooting. Good stick checking. Uh, yeah, good strength for 5'11 as well. Good skating. So there's another created player, previously created player, who is now in the game. Alexander Romanov. Jake Evans playing full-time fourth-line center, 76. Probably would have given him 78. Uh, goaltending, Carey Price is going to be, yeah, 90 overall for Carey Price. Jake Allen, I'd put him higher than an 81. And I'd put Charlie Lindgren lower than a 79. Probably 77-ish for Charlie Lindgren. 77, 78. Yeah, 78. But Jake Allen, I'd probably put an 82. Very good backup. Had a great performance the other night. Uh, Carey Price at 90. I think that is uh, that tracks as well. So there are the Montreal Canadiens. Probably spent a little bit more time on them. Uh, Nashville Predators, Yossi 90, yes. Duchesne 87, no chance. Good player, still not done for sure. 29 years of age, great. Love Matt Duchesne. Would not give him 87 right now. I'd probably have him closer to the 85-ish range. Even 86, but I don't think 87 is uh, very reflective of his current play. Ryan Ellis, 87. Uh, but again, like I just said for Josh Anderson, you got to take things into consideration. Injuries, bad team. So it's delicate. Ellis, 87. Forsberg, 86. Johansson, 85. Ekholm, 85. These are all good. These are no problems with a lot of these. Uh, Cousins, love Nick Cousins. Uh, I, yeah, I'm happy with pretty much all of these. Eli Tolvanen, I probably... Eh, you know, he has room to grow at 21 years of age, minimally potential, but I just love Eli Tolvanen. If you've been part of the channel, you know how valuable Eli Tolvanen is in franchise mode. But yeah, I'm pretty good on the Nashville ratings here. Arvidsson, you know, he's a great sniper, so 84 overall is fine for him because his shooting cat 87s and 88s right there. Goaltending for the Predators, Yusei Saros at an 84. Only medium starter potential, yeah. Uh, you know, high starter maybe, and Pecorine 83. Yeah, these make sense for the Predators. No Yaroslav Askarov since he hasn't played in the NHL yet. Uh, yeah, so those make sense. I think that's one of the teams that makes the most sense. New Jersey Devils, Hishi at an 85. Yeah, P.K. Subban at an 85. I don't know about P.K. at an 85. Love P.K. Subban, but I don't know if I see him at an 85 right now. Uh, Two-way defenseman. Uh, offensive awareness is good. Shooting, he has the power still. He's a good skater. Yeah, it's not the craziest thing, but it's it's, it's questionable. Ryan Murray, 84. Palmieri, 84. Severson, Butcher. Nikita Gusev at an 83. Maybe give him 84. Vatanen, probably give him closer to 82. Andreas Janssen, maybe 82. Jesper Brack could definitely be an 82, I think. Uh, Zaka. Jack Hughes, 80 overall with a high elite potential. That makes sense. After a bad first season, he's turning things around. So I think an 80 overall is okay for Jack Hughes with the high elite potential. He always grows like crazy in franchise mode. Uh, Miles Wood, Jesper Boquist. Ty Smith at a 77 is great. He's playing in the NHL now with that medium top four D potential. A first round pick back in 2018. They list him as an offensive defenseman. I think he was previously a two-way. So that's good to see. Uh, I'm not sure that's totally reflective of his play. Because I'm not, a, you know, I'm not watching New Jersey Devil games every night. But uh, Ty Smith at a 77, that top 4D potential is nice to see. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, sorry, and can't forget about uh, not going to be able to even pronounce that name. But having a good start to the season over on the Devils, and he's 75 with a medium top nine potential. Goaltending Mackenzie Blackwood only an 83. A lot of goalies here in New Jersey. 83 for Blackwood. I think he had a, a season worthy of at least an 84. Uh, but the 83-84 range is really sticky for a lot of goalies, like we saw with Muratsik, like we saw with Reimer, like we saw with uh, Jonathan Quick, Cam Talbot. So 83 is not 
uh, totally derivative of the rest of the league, so I'm not going to cry about it. Dell at an 82, probably wouldn't have him at an 82. Uh, Wedgwood, ah, give him a 78, why not? He's backing up his knee right now. With all the waiver claims, I'm not sure how the goalies are looking. This is a bit weird. I doubt it'll look like this like in two weeks from now with all the waivers and taxi squad stuff going on. But there's the goalie situation in New Jersey. Now going over to the New York Islanders. Matty Barzell, 86. I think I'd give, I'd be okay. If he was an 88, I wouldn't have said anything. Barzell at an 86. He always grows again in franchise mode. It's not a huge deal, but... Yeah, 86. He had a really good season last year. 24 goals, 53. No, that's not. I have to look at the stats, actually. 60 points in 68 games for Matty Barzell. 86. I'd probably give him closer to the 87 range. Like, why is Matthew Shane 87, but Barzell 86? Brock Nelson, 85. Uh, power forward, really. I thought he was a two-way forward previously. Staring into your soul. 54 and 68. Yeah, maybe closer to 84, but... Uh, yeah, Bailey had a really good season as well last, well, okay seasons. Yeah, and not crazy to have these guys at 85, but I don't know if it tracks with the rest of the league as we've been seeing. I don't know if I like Nelson at 85, but Lee at 84, not totally sure. Blah. Pulak, 84, very underrated. Ryan Pulak is four-star defense for him. I put his shot blocking up for sure. He eats up those blocked shots in fantasy. Uh, Beauvillier at an 83, Pajot, 82. Nothing too wild. Dobson, 80. Great potential. High top 4D. Uh, Timoshov. Michael Dal Cole. Oh, man. Just could never get it. Michael Dal Cole. Fifth overall pick in 2014. Still has top 9 potential. Ah, oh, the poor guy. Martin with that big 4-year, $1.5 million deal. Kiefer Bellows. Good potential from him. He always grows. He's a good power forward to get deeper in franchise modes. And Johnny Boychuk still here. Uh, costing 0.7. So I guess they worked that out somehow in the EA algorithms goaltending. Is Sorokin in here? Yeah, so oh, really? 80 overall? Ilya Sorokin, one of the best goalies in the KHL. I had him at an 83 when I created him, but he's down to an 80 overall. Ilya Sorokin. Uh, what kind of numbers does he have here? Four, three and a half, and four stars. Yeah, like he wasn't great to start the season in the one start that he did did have when Varlamov was hitting in, uh, in uh, warm-ups. Varlamov in 85, I think, makes a lot of sense. Very underrated goaltender because, you know, again, splitting a lot of time with Thomas Grice, you weren't able to see his full potential. Uh, numbers aren't crazy. I just think he's a very solid starter. I'm not saying he's elite, but I like 85 on Simeon Varlamov. But Sorokin, I'd probably give him a little bit more. Not because of what he's done in the NHL or will do in the NHL, but what he has done in the KHL. There are the New York Islanders. Now we're going to look at the New York Rangers. Panarin, 91. Zibanejad, 87. Yeah, I like that. I'd probably give him a little bit more, though, Zibanejad. Probably closer to the 88. Truba, 85. Strom, 84. D'Angelo, 83. Kreider, 83. Fox could probably be an 84. Bushnevich, 83. Alexi Lafreniere, the first overall selection. He is high elite, 82 overall to start off his first season here. Uh, playmaker with 87 passing, 88 offensive awareness. That means he's going to be a simulation monster. Six foot one, but two and a half star physical with 75 body checking and aggressiveness. That'll definitely have to change moving forward. But I understand, you know, I'd probably move the, 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 like the 88 stick checking and the 86 defensive awareness down a little bit and move the physical up a little bit. Uh, that's okay. Heil 81. Kako only an 80. I know he had a tough season last year, so I guess 80 makes sense. Yeah, for Kako, he's definitely another growth candidate. Uh, Jack Johnson at a 79. I know some fans who would want him to have a 36 overall. <laughs> Ryan Lindgren. Uh, Keandre Miller. Uh, I believe he's. this is also the first time we see Keandre Miller in the game. A U.S. development system prospect. 19 years of age, medium top 4D potential, 77 overall. Very nice for Keandre Miller. Offensive defenseman with 86 offensive awareness. Sheesh. But for some reason, 2.5 star defense... So, yeah, okay, interesting stats for Keandre Miller. The a 16th? 22nd overall selection in 2018, something like that. Uh, Di Giuseppe, Julien Gauthier, alrighty. Goaltending, Shosterkin, please don't tell me he's an 86. And he's an 86, there he is. Ah, I've already said enough why he shouldn't be an 86. I have nothing else to say. Igor Shosterkin, 12 games played, 10-2-0. Start of the season here in the NHL, not that great. No, 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 not an 86 overall, does not deserve it yet. He will get there, he will get there, not yet, not at all. Gorgiev, 83, even Gorgiev, an 83, he's gonna have like the same overall as David Riddick, oh, sorry, he's an 84, but still, 83, like Mackenzie Blackwood's an 83, Gorgiev in his entire career is 36, 31, and 6, I don't know about that one, Chief. 
Oh boy, Ottawa Senators. Where is? Oh no, I don't see him. Ah, oh, I don't see Timmy in the top in uh, the eighty ones, and I see Gatchenik with medium lead potential. I'm gonna lose it. Thomas Shabbat, eighty six overall with lead potential, no problemo. Dadanov, eighty six. Yeah, that's cool. Brady Kachuk, eighty four. You know what? He's probably already playing better than an eighty four. So if he was an eighty five, it would have been fine. Four star physical, great for that for the fantasy categories. Uh, the seventy discipline hurts, and that makes sense. And is at, but aside from that, numbers are great. So I think this makes sense for Brady Kachuk. Derek Stepan, 83. Alex Gatchenyuk, who was a healthy start to start the season, just scored the other night, which is great, but I don't see him being medium elite. I'd put him down to like 81 overall. Why are all those guys on, on Minnesota at like an 81 and Fiala at an 83? And then Gatchenyuk's here in the middle at an 82? Like, uh, I don't know about that. I'd give him like medium to low top six. but No, I'd give him medium top six potential. I love Galchenyuk, I love him, but I don't see it. Zaitsev 82, Brown 82, Colin White, Chris Tierney. Where is T Oh, no, he's not even... No. Stutzla was a 70 overall to start when the game dropped. I understandable, but if you're going to tell me that he's not at least like a 78, that would be like just embarrassing. Literally embarrassing. Okay, 79, here he is, Timmy Stutzla. There he is. Medium lead potential, 79 overall, much more sense. Much more sense. Wow, already some 80, all 86s in the puck skill categories. Uh, physical, nothing going on there, but a great skater. I'd probably put his skating even higher. He's a really good skater. Probably bring the offensive awareness down a little bit. That's like elite offensive awareness. And yeah, I like it for Stutzla. Very nice. Batherson, 79. Mike Riley, love Mike Riley. Schlappick, Josh Norris, like pretty much the top line here, Josh Norris and Drake Batherson and De Evgeny Dadanov is 86, 79, and 78. So maybe Batherson could have been an 80. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Brown, Pekka, Good Branson, Haley, 34 years old, Michael Haley. Goaltending, uh, Matt Murray in 85, definitely makes sense. Backed up by Marcus Ho Hogberg. Hogberg, I was going to say Hogberg. Uh, six foot five, high fringe starter. Is he actually the backup in Ottawa, or is there someone else around there? But it's pretty much just the Matt Murray show for the Senators. Philadelphia Flyers, Claude Giroux at an 88, Sean Couturier at an 88. Yeah, I think those make sense. Voracek 86, Konechny 85, Provorov 85, JVR 84. I th maybe, yeah, Ghost 84 is okay. I think these all make a lot of sense. I like all of these. Nolan Patrick, like, he had, he was out all last season, and you give him an 81, which is good. But why other players like Josh Anderson, who didn't do anything last season and had shoulder surgery, why do you, and scored 30 goals the year before, why does he get an 80 overall? Also a power forward, but Nolan Patrick has an 81. Very similar players in that regard. Lawton, 81. Myers, 81. Joel Farabee, 80. Uh, Morgan Frost, 77, who's on... Uh, he was playing full-time, but now he's out long-term in the real world. Probably would have had him higher than 77, though, for sure. Goaltending, Carter Hart at an 86. Same as Igor Shosturkin at an 86 overall, yet he's played 74 games and has a record of 43, 26, and 4. Poor guy, doesn't make sense. Uh, Brian Elliott, 81, that's okay. Alex Leon, Lions, 78. Okay, Philadelphia, another team that makes a lot of sense, like Nashville. Pittsburgh Penguins, Crosby 93, Malkin 91, Latang 88, Gensel 87. Yeah, those all make sense. Uh, 84, 83, Rust 83. Rust, really good season for Brian Rust last season. I think that would be deserving of a boost to 84. He was already 83. Goes just over point per game, under just under 30 goals in 55 games. I would have given him an 84. Uh, Matheson, I don't know if I'd give him an 81. I've heard a lot of bad things, unfortunately. Uh, Marino 81 with low top 6D potential. Just got signed to a $4.4 million extension. No, I'd give Marino at least low top 4D, if not medium top 4D potential. At least 81 overall is nice, but bad potential. 10 of 80. CC, Cody CC. Uh, Jankowski. Yeah, a lot of those make sense closer to the bottom. Goaltending. Oh, wow, really? So it used to be Jerry 83, DeSmith 82. Now both DeSmith and Jerry are 83 overall. That is very interesting. Both DeSmith and Jerry 83. And it, that's, you know, that tracks in real life right now. DeSmith has arguably been playing better than Tristan Jerry, who I uh, pulled the other night, letting in three goals on six shots against the Flyers. But I think long term, I'd probably have Jerry like. Uh, 82 or 83 and DeSmith 81 or 82, something like that. But, you know, I'm not complaining about 83, 83 either. 
it makes more sense. But just what doesn't make sense is that some things reflect reality like this and other things don't reflect reality like other things that we've seen. So 83-83 for the Pittsburgh Penguin goaltending. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go to the San Jose Sharks. Carlson, 89. Okay. Burns, 88. Okay. Couture, 86. Vlasic, 85. I don't know about that. Really boosted by the five-star defense. I don't know if he can get 92 shot blocking, 92 stick checking. Someone who watches the Sharks more than me could probably be give me a more informed idea on Mark Edward Vlasic's overall. Timo Meyer, 85. Hurl, 85. Kane, 85. I think these are all good. It's just, it's hard to gauge because they don't play. If this was actually the Sharks' top players, they'd be playing a lot better than the basement of the NHL, right? It's just that it really drops off after that. LeBanc, 83, but then Sorensen, 80. Marlow, 80. That's a nice respect for Marlow, at least. Donato, Nieto, Gambrel, Ferrero, yeah. Balsters is back. Gregor, it just really goes down. Yeah, interesting stuff in San Jose. I'm not really complaining about any of those. Just, it's not super, maybe Vlasic the most, my biggest question mark. Um, Jones in 83, I was about to say Jones better not be higher than like an 82 or 83. Uh, Dubnik in 85, that does make sense. Uh, he had a really good season last season, right? Uh, with Minnesota. Um, did he? No, actually, no. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking about that, that year before and the year before that. But no, last season was not great for Dubnik. Makes sense. Uh, I don't think I'd give him an 85 if that's the case. Probably closer to an 84 and Jones closer to an 81 or an 82. Martin Jones, you know, it's, we can't say, oh, he was really good five years ago, and I think he'll get better down the road. Like, no, like, overalls are a bit more reflective of right now. That's why we get new games and new roster updates. What is Jones right now? He's not an 83 overall in my mind. And I know I've been saying things like we need to take into account injuries and things like that. We can't always just be looking at the right now, but it's a delicate mix between the right now and the future slash what he has done, what he has the potential to do. It's not all one and not all the other. I hope I'm making sense, but that's how I see overalls. St. Louis Blues, Ryan O'Reilly, 89, Tarasenko, 89, Krug, 87. I think those are all good. Uh, David Perron, 86, Shane, 86. Hoffman, 85, great sniper, four-star shooting. I think that's good as well. Schwartz, 85. What's his durability? Uh, durability is 81. Uh, I don't know if I'd give him 81 durability. Colton Pareko, 85. Falk, 84. I'm, I'm having a tough time finding problems with these. It's just, I don't know if they all sit super well with me. I don't know. Maybe Perron closer to 85. He had a really good season last year. Sanford, I don't know if I'd give him 82. Rob Thomas, 82. Barbashev, Scandella. Sammy Blay, 79. Yeah, that's okay. we got to wrap this up, guys. It's been a long time. Jordan Cairo, 77. Top 6 potential. I'd probably put Cairo higher. He's been playing really well to start the season. So Cairo, I think I'd put him in that 79 range. Alex Steen, retired. Don't know why they keep him there. I guess it's just due to some sort of money constraint. Goalies for the Blues, Bennington at an 86 with fringe starter potential. I really don't get, there must be some sort of algorithmic thing going on. How can Bennington be low fringe starter with a Stanley Cup ring and just one of the best goalies of the last couple of years? I don't get it. 55, 18, and 8 in 83 games played. I don't, really don't get how he is low fringe starter. I don't get it. That's something else I've changed. I put him to medium elite for sure. I feel like Husso backing him up at 77, medium starter. I don't know if I'd give him medium starter potential, but probably 78 overall. Tampa Bay Lightning here. Kucherov, 92. Hedman, 91. Stamkos, 90.89. Those are all good. McDonough, probably put him at an 85. Sergachev, 84. Kalorn, Sorelli. Tyler Johnson, probably closer to an 82 at this point. Not sure why he gets the elite potential, but Palat gets the high top six potential. Uh, Coleman 81, Maroon 80. Yeah, these are pretty good. These are pretty solid. Um, I don't have any issues, I don't think, with any of these. Uh, Gabrick should be an 85 for sure. <laughs> Goaltending, Vasilevsky 91, and then McElhaney 79. I think that's okay as well. Vasilevsky, I'd say, is the best goalie. And McElhaney's a really good backup. I'd maybe put him closer to an 80, 80, 81-ish. Uh, yeah, but Vasilevsky 91 makes sense. And all the forwards, I think, makes sense. The, the, the Lightning are just a stacked team, so... I think these overalls are pretty good. Sergachev could probably be 85, and McDonough could probably be 85 as well. But aside from that, it's pretty good. On to the Toronto Maple Leafs now. Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews, both 90 overall. Uh, pff, I'd probably put... I don't know if I'd put Matthews maybe a bit ahead of Marner, but... It's, you know, it's just splitting hairs again. Tavares, 89. Riley, 87. Jake Muzzin, I would not have in the 85. Uh, probably closer to the 83, 84 range. Uh, Muzzin's very good, but I don't think I'd put him that high, like I said. Uh, Nylander, closer to 86, 86-87 uh, range than just 85. Brody, I unfortunately would have probably have him around 81. 
or even 82 at the highest, but I don't think TJ Brody should be 83. Signed that big contract and he's not been living up to it. Zach exactly. Hyman, another guy that we love here on the channel. Uh, 83 overall, I think that's pretty fair, even though some would say 99. Uh, yeah, 83 is fair. Dermot, 82. Nah, Thornton, 82. That's great for Jumbo. Simmons, you know, how is Wayne Simmons going to be a higher overall than Josh Anderson? The guy's 32. He's a lot more, he has a lot more miles on him. And he's playing bottom six, uh, 1.5 million. How could he be a higher overall than Josh Anderson? I don't think that makes sense. Wayne Simmons is great. He still has some gas in the tank. But he's not what he used to be, and I would not be putting him in a higher overall than Josh Anderson. Mikhail 82 is okay. Justin Hall. Uh, Rasmus Sandin already at 80 overall. Okay, that's not bad. Spezza, Jimmy VC, Bogosian. Nick Robertson, I'd put him higher than 74. The potential is good with medium top six, but I'd probably put him closer to 76 to 77 overall. Goal tending for the Maple Leafs, Frederick Anderson in 88, backed up by Jack Campbell, 80. I think that is fine. Freddie Anderson, he's hit and miss, maybe sometimes closer to 85, 86, sometimes closer to 88, 89. But I think 88 is okay. Vancouver Canucks, Elias Pettersson, 89. Uh, that's okay. Uh, 89 or 90 is good for him. Besser of 86. Bo Horvat, top 50 at an 86 overall is very nice. Quinn Hughes at an 86 is great as well. Higher overall than Quinn than, uh, than Kale McCarr by one, but nothing really too crazy. Nothing to sound off big alarms about. 86 overall for Quinn Hughes. JT Miller, 86 as well. That's well-deserved. Alex Edler, very injury-prone, unfortunately, but a great defenseman, underrated. Four-star defense, but 77 durability, which is understandable. Uh, Nate, Smith, 80, Nate Schmidt, another underrated defenseman at 83. Good defense. Uh, could be better. 86 offensive uh, defensive awareness could be better. Myers, Pearson, Hamannick, uh, Vertanen, 82. Sutter 79, Jay Beagle, classic face-off king. I, I, over under 87 for face-offs on Jay Beagle. Ooh, 86. 86 for Jay Beagle. Jordy Ben, Louis Erickson, there he is. Two more years in that deal. Nicholas, uh, Niels Hoglander, probably give him a bit higher as well in that 77, 78 range like Robertson. Uh, but yeah, good stuff from him. I'm going to say Holtby, like 88, and Demko, 83. Uh, close. So 88 for Holtby, Demko 81. I'd probably give Demko closer to the 82, 83 range. Uh, Holtby at 88, that's okay, even though he doesn't usually play like it. Uh, it's more of a name recognition than anything, because if I saw Holtby 86, I wouldn't have said that's crazy. It's just he's had a bit of a tough go recently in the last couple seasons. Uh, more just this this current season playing like meh, only even though it's like three games in. And then last season just wasn't that great. But again, as I've been saying, this season is very early, and it's hard to make the decisions off of this season. Vegas Golden Knights were almost there. Petrangelo, 90. Stone, 88. Yep. Pacioretty, 86. Marshall, 86. Carlson, 85. Smith. I don't know if I see Smith at an 84. Let me see this. 54 points last season. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's okay. 84 is fine for Riley Smith. What's an 84 is not fine for Gustav Nyquist. 84 is fine for Riley Smith. Shea Theodore, very underrated. I would have preferred to see him at an 85 overall. Uh, even 86, but 84 I think is too low for Shea Theodore. Alex Tuck, Alec Martinez, uh, Cody Glass, 79. Probably could have seen him at 80. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's okay. Ryan Reeves, an over-under dis discipline of 68. Uh, to 60. Woof. My goodness. Goalies. Uh, Robin Leonard, Marc-Andre Fleury, both 87. I think that makes perfect sense. Great tandem. And now to the Washington Capitals right before the Winnipeg Jets. Two more teams to finish it off. This is super long, but if you're just here for your team, that makes. <laughs> I hope you've been able to skim through. Ovechkin, 93. Carlson, 91. Kuznetsov, 89. Backstrom, 88. That's all good. Uh, Oshie, 85. Rana, 84. Orlov, 84. Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson had a really good season last year. 44 and 68. I don't know if I see him at an 84. The physical stats boosted a little bit. Zdeno Chara, 43 years old. I don't see him at 84 anymore. He's great, but he's definitely slowing down. I wouldn't have been surprised if I saw him at an 81 or an 82. Uh, I think 82, 83 range would make more sense for Chara than an 84, but it's just the five-star physical. It just balloons that overall, I guess. But I don't know. Still 89 defensive awareness and still 90 stick checking. I'm not sure. Those are pretty elite numbers. I'm not sure if he's still there or not. Schultz, 83. Dylan, Eller, Kempney... Uh, the rest of these are pretty good. Then over in goaltending, Ilya Samsonov, 83, really? So Henrik Lundqvist, obviously not playing this season. So Ilya Samsonov's getting the starts. I 
think I would have had him around closer to the 84 range. Uh, again, hasn't played much. 17-6-2, though, last year. You know what? He has played. He has played more than Shesterkin and better uh, winning record than Shesterkin as well. Or maybe not a better winning record, but 10-2 uh, and two versus 17-6. and six. Yeah, come on. Come on, 83 overall. That's not. That's pretty shameful. That's one of the one of the one of the worst. One of the more bad. I can't find my words. Overalls that uh, that are here. Craig Anderson in 81. Vitek Vanek at 78. Yeah, I'd probably have Vanek at 79 and Anderson at 80. Samsonov at 85. 84, 85. That's probably what I would have had for the for the Washington goaltending. A bit shameful in that regard. Winnipeg Jets, last team. Shifley, 89. Wheeler, 88. Connor, Line A, both 87. Morrissey probably had him at 85. Ehlers, Pionk. Pionk had a great season last year, but I think 84 is fair. Ehlers probably would have had him at 85, 86, actually. Uh, yeah, he had, a, he had a really good season last year, didn't he? 58 and 71. Probably 85 for Ehlers. Stastny, Little, Cop, Lowry, Mathieu Perrault. How's his picture still? Yeah, yet to be updated. Mathieu Perrault, fantastic photo for him. Um, is uh, No, he's not. Billy Hanola's here. Top four deep potential. Never grows in NHL for some reason, but hopefully uh, maybe now he will with this update. I don't know what to say. He just never gets past like 78 overall. Goaltending for the Jets. Hellebuck at a 90. Yep, that's great. And Brassois at an 80, which is fine. So there are all the lines in the NHL. If you just wanted the NHL, you can go ahead and click off now. I'm going to look at a few other just key names just for a couple minutes here to look through AHL and juniors. First thing I want to see, the Ottawa 67s. I want to see Rossi and Quinn. Okay, wow, 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 wow. So... At least the overall, uh, the potential got fixed for Jack Quinn, and the overall a little bit. He's in, he's in like the high 50s, I think. So 66 overall, but still medium top six. Uh, well, not still medium top six. Now medium top six, as opposed to low top nine. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, maybe high top six even. Marco Rossi, I would definitely put high top six, if not medium elite, and a higher overall than 69. He is a very strong... If you've seen Marco Rossi play, he is just like, from the waist down, it's just like a truck. Like, he is not getting pushed around. He is so strong on the puck. So to give him, like, 73 aggressiveness and 72 strength, that does not make sense in my mind. The 90 discipline boosts his overall. Put his discipline to 80, and he'd probably be, like, a in the... He'd probably drop three overalls. So I don't agree with that. He's a great skater. Uh, I'd give him a higher overall. Jack Quinn as well. 71 slap shot accuracy. Again, the 90 discipline boosts the overall. I guess that's, like, their cheat code to boost overall. Just give them 90 discipline. So I don't agree with those. Especially considering a guy like Alex Holtz or something is already a 77. Like, I don't see Jack Quinn being 11 overall less than uh, than him. Going over to the queue here, I want to see Dawson Mercer, another player who had low potential, low overall as of the last uh, uh, rosters. Dawson Mercer, 63 overall, medium top 9. Now, that's crazy. That is crazy. 18th overall selection. Not a top 5 pick, but... I definitely would not have him at medium top nine. 63 overall, whatever. Overalls are hard to do for the juniors. They grow, whatever. But medium top nine potential. Hendrix Lapierre gets medium top six. But Dawson Mercer, medium top nine. And you know, there's a lot of other prospects that we could go through in the NHL and the AHL. But it's already been over an hour. I hope that you just scrolled around to the teams that you wanted to see. If you want to see some other overalls, you can just hit me up in the Discord server if you don't have NHL to look for yourself. Discord server, link in the description. We're a great community. We have a lot of fun. So we would love to have you come join in. If you are actually brand new to the channel, we would love to have you here. We do NHL franchise mode as well as MLB The Show franchise mode and other NHL series like different simulations and franchise mode with different teams made up of players from different provinces and states and regions. Those are done on our live streams as well as be a pro. That's on the Twitch channel and here on YouTube. All those links are down in the description and we would absolutely love to have you join in on the team here. Super interactive stuff, especially in the franchise modes where we build the team together and we make decisions as a uh, as a pretty much as a as a as a constitutional board. So I'll go ahead and end it right there. Like I said, if you have any other questions about any other players, potentials and overalls, I would love to get into it, but there are the updated rosters now as of January the 21st, 2021. Let me know your thoughts, who's underrated, who's overrated. I would love to hear some debates down in the comments and we can get into it down there. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.